Is this is this twitch.tv? It is twitch.tv. Hello, hello twitch.tv. How's it going? <laughs> hey. So it is I, Cosmos, and I'm joined here today with Tilted Teapot. We will be your casters for this match. It's gonna be France versus Norway. And uh, we were chatting a little bit prior to um, this match kicking off about these teams. And um, yeah, Teapot, how do you think this is gonna this is gonna go? So I'm a very, very wise man, and I uh, <clears throat> right, right. analyze totally different map pools for each team. But I did, I did get some results from this, and I believe, I believe. Now look in here. Now, if any of the captains are around, you guys are gonna want to, you guys are gonna want to close your ears because it's a little spicy. But uh, I think that Norway has a really good chance on mid speed. Yeah. I think France has a strength everywhere else. I can't say for tech because they didn't play tech last map pool. Either team. But like for high speed, balanced, and uh, ack, I think that mm -hmm. it all goes to France. Yeah. And, you know, we've been seeing very interesting choices. When we go into these matches, uh, we are looking at previous plays, we're looking at the player questionnaire and seeing what the players themselves think they're really good at. And then they get into these pick and ban processes and they're kind of just surprising us of their strategy for whatever yeah. team they're competing against. So what we say here could be completely different from their plan. Um, but yeah, I don't know what, how either team is gonna go into this, uh, what they're going to end up picking and banning. Um, as far as qualifiers go, they're, uh, they're both seated really closely. Uh, so it'll be, yeah, it'll just be an interesting match. I don't know. Yeah. I agree and with I, you. With, I think you know, specifically on Ack, with really slow Ack, Norway's actually done pretty well. Like, I'm talking like sub three notes per second, which I think there's a couple of in this map pool. Let's see. Maybe not. No, they're. So there's no. 3.26 and 3.26. <laughs> so they're close, but. Um, yeah, I don't I don't know if the act is really leading towards either team. I think the act should be pretty close. Um yeah. I think a fair amount of Norway struggles to keep up on the really high speed stuff though. Yeah, I could see that. Whereas but they, like for both teams have some like pretty de decent players as well. Um yeah. and again from both sides of these teams, we've seen them participate in last year's Beat Saber World Cup and S Spring Cup, Winter Cup. So they have been playing in tournaments for God knows how long, uh, a lot of these players. So they are no stranger to the setting at all. Yeah, I think uh, two of kind of the main uh, French players that stick out to me is Brindle and Goikos. They're... Mm -hmm. There's also been some other really good players on each side. Like we have Pride and Fakos and um, I don't actually have their act player lineup here, but yeah, I think I think France is pretty rounded here. Yeah. And when it comes to Norway, we, we've seen it quite a bit already, but uh, Da Hello is like, top 20 <laughs> never <laughs> right like he's just yeah he's so good that he just stands out so much on norway's side but like they have tons of also really good players like reiner loki slam that serb uh ace and surge asman right like really good players that kind of spread out but they're more specialized so like you'll see um more likely Reiner, Datser, uh, Surge, and De Hello on higher speed stuff. And then on lower speed stuff, you'll see De Hello, Ace, Reiner, and Asmund. Yeah, I know De Hello on the play questionnaire did write that they most excel at mid speed act and sub 330 yeah. BPM. Um, and then we have a few here that mentioned, you know, speed and tech were their their best side of things and so i mean you know ack and mid speed so we got like a good broad range and then also applies to france as well very similar as far as what the team feels they, they excel at the most um just a broad range so i don't know 
Yeah, like one thing I always bring up is Scandinavia is really good at tech. Like, it's just kind of something, especially <laughs> like, I don't know, not the immediate latest Zoomers, but yeah. pretty much all the other players, they played a lot of tech for a long time. So they tend to be pretty strong. And I think we might see Norway picking tech here. I'm not sure, but I, th I feel like that's a pretty good hunch. Yeah, so on, on on the player questionnaire, we did we did get a, a secret message from Pride that we're gonna have to translate here. It says "Wee oui, wee oui, baguette omelet du fromage." Now, that's I don't, uh, I... <laughs> that's yes, yes. Baguette uh, and baguette egg with an omelet with cheese. <laughs> yes, with yes, cheese. yeah. Okay, if it was like complex French, I would have never got it. But all that stuff, it worked out pretty good. <laughs> Anyways, I think the players are figuring out. We're doing France's warm up first. France is gonna do "Everything Is a Lie" by Dr. Peacock and Sefa, and then after that, we'll have Norway's warm up, which I'll tell you about later. Or maybe, maybe not. Actually, we're gonna have some time, so I'll tell you about it. <laughs> <laughs> what? Um, okay, this one's really confusing because it's got two hyphens, so I don't know what's the name. <laughs> okay, it's it, it it's Stiv Pick or uh -huh. Stiv Peak and then uh hyphen Jacob and Frittle Yoff. Fr Frittle Fridge Jaw? Fridge Fid Fidge Yoff. Yeah, it's a Y probably. <laughs> And then another hyphen, and then there's Lasse Lasers. So I I really couldn't tell you what this map's going to look like. This is amazing. And for those who are just tuning in, and this is like, I don't know, your, your first BC World Cup match or tournament in general, the both teams will get to pick a warm-up match of their choice. We'll play through both of them, and then we will dive right into our picks and bands, and then into our songs of the day. All right, let's go, let's, let's go through the maps. The maps, quick. All right. So I think based on my evaluation of slower act is kind of going to favor Norway. I think that like swim and oh God, here we go again. She, she, she was a no mono. Sashi. <laughs> God, no. And uh, these two maps, they're pretty slow. One of them's a little bit technical, which is um, the Japanese one. Mm hmm. So I think, Wase, no, yeah, Monosashi. but yeah, I'll just call it Shiawase. It'll make it easy. Yes, yeah, so I think Swim might go towards Norway and Shiawase mm -hmm. might go towards France. I think Swim all of them was a really just a, a chill map, though. Like, yeah, just very straightforward. Um, and I know like the last match we saw that get banned instantly because um, it might just be too much of a generalized accuracy map i don't know so it depends on how who if it were to get picked it depends on who's picking it and then if they feel that confident enough that their accuracy is better than the other team yeah well she will say the thing about it is i call it tech act not so much because it's got really technical patterns but because the patterns in it are so hard to act right like they're just not yeah. they're not super conventional so if you're not if you're not really good at acting weird things, it might be kind of a turn off, yeah, which is fair because it's it's a big risk. And then and it's we also got a really short song too. Yeah, it's only Shio, two minutes Shio, fifty one. Shia Wase, no, you know what? I'm not even gonna try. Yeah, in the semifinals, there's a high speed song that's like seven minutes <laughs> yeah everyone that's, just that wrote right. rip stamina because everyone everyone's <laughs> been talking about this whole time that you know stamina is not gonna be a huge factor these are the top players i don't care who you are you play seven minutes of high speed you're gonna be dead after that and heaven yeah. forbid you gotta you gotta replay that replay yeah yeah <laughs> that is Absolutely terrifying, especially when we get into these later matches moving forward in the World Cup. Um, yeah, like best of 11. Yeah. Good luck with your arms. 
Yeah, and then uh, we, we have two mid-speed maps, so please, KonKon and Arisama, and follow <laughs> you. I think... I think those are both pretty well within... Norway's range. Yeah. Like, they're kind of lower BPM, but I know they play, like, halftime a lot. Or, no, double time. So... Those have, like, a couple of... Um, a lot of sliders and things as well, though, through that song in particular. Yeah. Um, yeah, follow you, to be particular. Yeah. yeah. And then, final boss, Darkness Overload, and True Hero are balanced maps. And I think, honestly, when it comes to balanced, I, I think they're all leading a little bit towards France, but like anything a little bit slower, like maybe final boss could go. I could see it going to Norway. Yeah. Yeah. Again, we are suspecting it to be a relatively close match between the two. Um, Alors, oh. pas but I don't know. It's it, it's it's not 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 it's <laughs> And then, like, the tech map, which I'm not even going to try and pronounce, like, it, it, we're going no, to call that Sto. <laughs> no, okay, Sto. Uh, Shiki. Eyes. Cheddary. Cheddary. I don't know. I don't, I don't even know what language it is. Cheddary. I don't like that. Uh, I don't. I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, the tech map. I think we can see. It. I, I think we can see yeah. it going. All right. And then the yeah. uh, <laughs> high speed maps like Metamorphose <laughs> and Kill 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 Kill. I think I missed Kill. <laughs> so so another one for good <laughs> measure. Good. Good. Oh fuck. I think I think those are pretty <laughs> safe bets for. Surtout quand je suis là, ça fait un gros trail dégueulasse. And we are into the warm up maps. Oh, wow. <laughs> Norway's trails are beautiful. pivot in a chelou. He can hear the uh, French yelling in some French. <laughs> I don't know what it is about French, but I but I love when people see, speak French super seriously with like a French accent. <laughs> not like not like French Canadian. It's a little different. Yeah. Yeah, but... it's a little bit. <laughs> oh. Oh, God, that's, yeah, so good. I also love the baguette sabers here from Pride. Absolutely amazing. <laughs> and they are... I mean, this is a faster paced song, and they are uh, going at it for a warm up. So... Yeah, I don't know if it has that high of a, like, no density, it's just, like, very yeah. high MJS. Yeah, yeah. yeah. 94, yeah. Duck. <laughs> yeah, Norway's also kind of just jamming. Da hello on that FC. By the way, how do you like the, the new FC marker? So nice. So it goes. is beautiful. I'm really excited to see that added today. That'll be a huge help. Oh, yeah, <laughs> oh god, so many of these jumps, like these like, resets, you know, like the bomb resets. So many in these map pools. I hate them. Yeah, they're, they're pretty wild, then. <laughs> Goika's stream quality is a little bit brutal today. Yeah, just, just a little bit. Um, at least... And just died, so that's... Rip the bun, Stream sync. Cosmos, do you remember the days when we didn't have TA and that would like yes. totally ruin a tournament? We'd have to like wait to see their score and then they click through it anyways and then you'd have to clip it and try to like get that two frames. <laughs> of them looking yeah. at the score. Oh man, back when we had a coordinator sitting in the lobby, counting down, one, two, three, go, to press the play button. Yeah. Those were days. It was, it was horrid, let's be honest. Now, now it works so great, because even TA is working even, even without a great stream. Right. <laughs> Can we just take a moment to just Pour eyes over to Duh Hello's screen with that FC oh, no, on the song on a warm up match. No, Duh Hello's just gaming. Yeah. Nobody else 
Also, super efficient swings. Yeah, yeah. And with those uh, trails on those Norway Sabres. Um, <laughs> and, uh, you can see. Loki's still still gaming a little bit. Loki must have had some like stream leg too. Oh, Loki failed. <laughs> so now we're going to be moving on to that uh, Norwegian song. You know, the one by Freddy Yoff. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Do you know this map or? Yoff. No, I do okay. not know this map at all. I don't even know which one's the name. I don't even know if it's Steve Peak or like. Uh, That's true. There's like. Lasse Laser. I don't. I don't know what's going on here. Well, normally you do like the artist and then you just put ampersands in between or whatever, or like commas, yeah, not true. hyphens. The last, um, the last one was like a relatively serious map. Normally, what we've seen is warm ups are more for memes. <laughs> yeah, France you know? does not. France does not mess around. They're very, no. very. Very serious gamers. Just look at just look at Pride stream here. Yeah. This is like <laughs> this is that's a lot of bread. <laughs> yeah, that is a lot of bread. I wonder what the world's biggest baguette is. Or do they like no, do they no, measure no, the no. world's longest baguette? Like, it will not matter how okay, big it is, just how long it is. I think Norway's trying to uh, do some karaoke. Oh, they're just going. Ba -da -ba -da -ba. <laughs> yeah, they jamming over there. It's beautiful. <laughs> I always appreciate teams that do a little bit of karaoke during the warm ups. <laughs> yeah, I think you're going to hear Ace talking too. Steve Pick means stiff cock. There you go. Brindle, struggling with those sliders. Those uh, crossover sliders are a little deadly. <laughs> Definitely how you break a controller or a wrist or something. Yeah, I had him stay big. Yes, yeah, Try hitting all the bombs in this map. Oh, I got bombs to all those. Savers. So that's what I'm talking about with Norwegian tech here. You got Slam and Da Hello uh, on I that FC. Yeah, I live far behind both tokens. I cry. I said that was a fan beat both tokens. I was like, yeah, I can shake it this way. Will France is asking themselves, how does someone FC this guy? <laughs> yeah, this is just how Norway is, man. They they love these maps. Yeah, definitely getting a win on the free side of things today. Um, they actually don't have uh, total scores right now, so we can't even tell who's winning. I'm gonna assume it's Norway. Oh. The map is Slam Seeks. That's fair. Hey yo, I love Slam. Don't don't you don't you ever say I don't. You don't. No, I don't. <laughs> I don't. I don't. Don't hate. Got him. I, I, uh, the double niggas. I love Slam. Okay. We're getting some wee baguettes in chat. Pride is right. readjust, readjusting their sabers. Do you think they're gonna play with the bigots and the actual and no, the actual thing here? There's no way. So Ace coming out here, rolling a 66 and X Unreal. A 10. Very unfortunate. It has to happen Fair. to someone though. Someone always yeah. has to get the lower roll. Just how it works. Yeah, and this is probably the picks and band process, so both uh team captains will end up doing slash roll. And whoever gets the highest number will get to decide if they are team one or team two. And they'll move on to the picks and ban process moving forward. Yeah, Norway has chosen team two. So that means that France will be team one. <laughs> yes, yes, default. Yes, it will yes. be. <laughs> yes, that's exactly how that works. Wee, right? wee. A wee, wee, baguette. <laughs> 
France bans kill. Oh my god, Sammy, you can't put these many kills. Kill, <laughs> kill, 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 kill. Kill, Should kill, it be kill. like V six times? Should we just call it V kill five times? Kill plus 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 plus. And Norway's banning some mid speed. True hero. True. The interesting thing is, uh, I don't know why France bans high speed. Maybe they just don't feel confident enough against Norway. I feel as like as that's as like as the as most as like at least from what I've seen, the most surefire route. Yeah, because uh. I think if France played high speed, it's a it's a little quick for a lot of players on Norway, and their axe gonna drop significantly. Yeah, and then it and then it's just pretty much facing to hello. And I think France is a little more rounded out on high speed, so they'd probably beat them. Okay. But and Norway picking darkness over overload load. <laughs> Over, well, I was... <laughs> and then they're playing balanced mid speed. I don't they even put Overlord, so I'm like, wait a minute, that's not. Wait a second. All my predictions are falling apart. Hey, I told you the start of this is that when casters make predi predictions, it always seems to go the opposite direction than what we, what we expect. Yeah. Maybe we shouldn't be casters. I don't know, <laughs> but Bla regardless, here we are, Beat Saber World Cup 2021. Last year it went so well, so well. That's true. All the captains just listen to me. Now I think they're doing it on purpose. Maybe that's. that's maybe it's because all. It, maybe it's because all but one of the teams that ended up listening to me lost. <laughs> oh no. Oh, it's actually pretty even. We got fifty-five percent for France and forty-five percent for Norway. People aren't all the okay. way in yet, but I'm going on France. Really? Yeah. Okay. And here is our lineup for this map coming up here. Okay. So we got Brindle, who's extremely good at balance mid speed. Mm -hmm. We got Goikis, who does quite well. Karama, who does quite well. And I think Fakos will be right behind Brindle. Okay. And then yeah. on Norway's side for their balanced lineup, we have. Reinert, who does pretty well. Dot Serb, who will be right behind Reinert. I think Surge, who will be right up with those two. And then obviously Da Hello, who's going to pop off. Yeah, Da Hello. Or, or not Surge, sorry. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. yeah That's hilarious. Just... Not right on the. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because like I, I was, I was reading off like what they normally play for mid speed, and then like kind of comparing, and then I totally, I totally skipped Asmin, and then it swapped us. Okay, so yeah, no, okay, the swap was actually we're not getting uh, Datserb. We're getting Search. Asmin. Yeah. Which actually, I don't think they played Asmin on uh, balanced mid speed yet. Which is interesting, sure. or at least in the last map pool, they 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 yeah. rotate like okay. So for Norway, when it comes to the balance maps, they've like rotated a lot of players there. So generally, they always have Surge and Da Hello, from what I've seen. Yeah, and then they have either Loki and Slam Seek or Deathserb and Reiner, depending on the speed. But now they're kind of like they're they're switching it up once again. I mean that that's smart too. Keep. The other team on their toes, but also when you're having these 4v4s, it's you have to think like, what are we picking and banning and what players on our team are going to excel in that area versus, versus the other team as well. And just kind of playing around and figuring out where you want to place your players through these maps. It's definitely a st strategic side of things there. Yeah, and it make, that makes it tough too, because like as casters, we can pretty much only go off like what they played last map pool or the map right. pool before that, right? And we can kind of like classify players into, oh, this is their act lineup, this is their like high speed lineup, this is their mid speed lineup or whatever. But that's not exactly how it works because when they, when teams are figuring out who's going to play, they pretty much have all the players play them or at least like maybe they won't have act players by high speed. But, um, and then, and then they'll like take, let's say three scores they got, average them out and take their peak and then figure out who would be best on that map, regardless of whatever, like, the roles are. 
All right, going into our first map, Darkness Overload by Camellia. Oh, actually, things have things have made quite the jump lately. We got seventy one percent in favor of France and twenty nine percent. Oh wow! Okay. Let's see. Yeah, so song is hard style, which slaps. Uh, very <laughs> stream heavy though, I'd say. Um, we got some like jumps with stacks and sliders during the drop. And like a little bit of tacky patterns, but not not really. Like it's not it's not super hard to read. Just go sideways a little bit. Yeah. Quite the jammer though. And we are starting off early in this song here, and Norway just a slightly above France, but again just the beginning, so anything could happen here. Yeah. So it looks like we're gonna be seeing Norway take the advantage here during like the streams. And now it's kind of like turning into jumps. But during the drop, it's going to get pretty wild. And I think we'll see act drops from both sides. But I'm not sure who will like, come out of it on top. And no, he saw one already by Del Hello, Hello dropping. dropping. So that will push the score over to France early on in this song. Oh, no. And Surge dropping and Asmund now, too. All oh, FCs on France's really side. Not looking good. This is this is the darkest time timeline. The darkest timeline. <laughs> it truly is. Yeah. Look at these beautiful jumps. Oh god. Brian seem seeming to not really struggle here. No, still holding FCs on all of France's side. And yeah. uh, Norway just trying to climb up there from those couple of misses from the team. Yeah, I think France is a lot more comfortable and stuff like this. Oh, oh and miss. Brindle misses. And Goikas. So we got two FCs left on France for Chroma and Fakos. Yeah, but that did not do much to, as far as the overall uh, percentage shifting over to Norway, it's even with those drops. Close. It's pretty close. Yeah, it is still time. very close. And we're halfway through. Asmon also dropping on Norway's side. And Surge. And Surge, making that gap between the two teams a little bit wider here. We're about halfway through the song. They're dropping in pairs. Yeah. Always. <laughs> <laughs> They're going full croissant. Full <laughs> croissant. <laughs> Stop. I saw that in chat. I stole that one. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> Back to some streams here. A little bit of time to pick it back and hopefully, hopefully not miss. Yeah, see, so you Norway know, just try to climb back here from those misses. France still in the lead with that 96.22%. And the build up here going into the next burst of notes. Bubbles. Yep. Oh, it has been missed again too a little bit ago. Drop so far, even through that last burst there. Da hello climbing up uh, with that combo as well. So again, missing 96. again. Oh, that is unfortunate. I'm headbanging so hard right now. <laughs> Camellia moment. Yeah. Three quarters of the way through the song. France is a pretty strong lead. About 0.3%. Yeah. Fago's dropping FC. Goikas dropping. Goikas is also dropping but still not pushing Asmund that score over to win. Norway. France still in the lead, even with those misses. Yeah, Reiner and Kurama both on FCs right now. The only two FCs That's left. Insane. But it's... Getting close to the end here. Yeah, it's been all over the place, but France is taking quite the strong lead near the end here. I think it's just... France being more comfortable and having less shit misses from mm -hmm. a little too much zoom. But Death Hello on the Norway side of things, even with a couple of misses through the song, still at that 97%. Yeah, very strong. The rest of his team with 95, so definitely holding it together through that song there a little bit. Yeah, Reiner and Kurama, proud, proud of those FCs for sure. Hell yeah. Don't think they'll do a replay. I don't know. Brendel and Fakos, both the uh, very similar act here too. 
for leading their team. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. Both with 96s. Everyone, <laughs> there's people chat saying highest act in the in the lobby with one miss. <laughs> It's like, yeah, it's just die hello. <laughs> like, that's how it'd be. That's scary. That is It, it is really very scary. spooky. That is spooky. So yeah, that was Norway's pick, I believe. Mm-hmm. So I don't know if we're going to see a replay at all. Does not... No replay. Here, so... I want to see... Bear with me. What is Metamorphose it? from Frank. You, you've seen it. Yes. You've seen the speed. You've seen that yes. you win on speed. Just do it. Go for the kill for him. No. I mean, because well, not, not like that, overload, but I'm, it might be a little bit. I don't know. That would be. I, I think it'd be a little scary for Norway. Or, as you say, spooky. France, why? Just make me be right once. Mm. Okay. <laughs> We're going for act. Okay, we're going for swim, like the slower standard ack song. That is a decision. <laughs> yeah. So this map. Mm -hmm. This beautiful map. Yes. Three minutes, 19 seconds, 3.26 notes per second, 180 BPM, and the standard ack 15 NJS. <laughs> but uh it has lots of stack ack. Which I think is pretty important, especially on those outline outside lane stack stacks. You mm -hmm. kind of got to hit them on an angle. So if you don't do that right, it can mess you up. But there's even like it's hard to describe, but it's like there's they're horizontal stacks, and they start from the center and go to the outside, and you have to backhand them. And it's oh. actually really hard to get good act on. This caster, this caster right here, takes notes. <laughs> it's I don't know how to describe it. You'll see it. I'll, I'll be like, that's it. That's it. But yeah, no, it's it's really hard. It's hard. Like they're hard to full swing, but it's even harder to hit the middle. Uh, yeah, and then just like a few diagonals, some bomb resets, and it, it it can feel a little fast at times. And as far as players go, it looks like they are bringing Deserb as a swap out from surge on the Norway side. Um, Reinhardt, Asmund, and Del Hello still remaining. Well, let me see if that let me see if that lines up here. With your epic note taking. That's interesting. Very <laughs> very interesting. Sometimes we'll see Ace instead of uh Dat Serb on Ack, but I guess mm. Dat Serb is gaming or Ace is not there. Ace is there. Yeah, but like we were saying, it's it's all about like who scores better. So I think for um, this map, that Serb's just in there. And then for he's just in there. Yeah, he's just in there. He's doing good. Yeah. Oh yeah, that could, that that could, that could sound really bad. I meant like he's in there on that map. Like he he's he's doing good. I didn't mean like they just threw him on. That's my bad. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. No, I know. I know. He's gaming. <laughs> yeah, he's gaming. Like, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds. Sad. Ace showing. Ace showing his true colors in chat, saying, "Go team France," and is, and that's the kind of team captain I would love. And then and then he corrected himself with an asterisk, Norway. So honestly, I couldn't I couldn't tell you guys what to predict on this one. Hmm. Everyone's thinking everyone's thinking France. They're pretty confident. Pretty confident. I'm thinking Norway. I'm but thinking Norway. I'm thinking Norway too. I think I have more than a twenty percent chance, that's for sure. Give me that money. Yeah, definitely more than twenty percent chance. I mean we just saw like the hello, the last match, like missed a note and like Climbed up to like a 97 percent. Yeah. Over, I think that was like the highest percentage. Was was anybody yeah. else on France getting a 97 that last no. match? No. Yeah. 96.5 was the highest. That's insane. I don't know. I just think. Da hello, Desser, um, Asman and, and Reinhardt with what we saw the last match. I, I think they have a pretty good chance against France here on this map. Yeah, I think Norway has a higher act, but France has better combo. I think Norway just, a lot of their players do end up shit missing a lot. 
And that can be deadly if you're against like a team with just really good combo. All right, Norway, give me those baguettes. Oh, Ace putting putting money on France. Ace. Ace. You could have at least filled me in. <laughs> Now, it's going to be great when Norway ends up taking this. Just wait for it. Yeah. just wait Ace is going to end up not cheering for his own team and <laughs> lose his money. All right. Make me proud. We'll see what happens here. Actually a jammer. Yeah. Garrett's has, like, quite the uh, wide set arms. Especially in the beginning. Maybe not now, but... <laughs> and France taking the lead right out of the gate there, but not enough as Norway ends up taking it as I say something. Yeah, the, um... Oh my god, these are so terrible pronounced. No! I know he's I know he's got a thing on here. Uh, but we're gonna go with this for now. Gainu or Gaina? Yeah. Nia. Nia? Nia? Oh yeah, Nia. Nia. <laughs> <sighs> I can't believe I forgot. Nia dropped. That is unfortunate. So... Oh! That's... That could be just nail in the coffin, but actually, France is taking it back. Slowly. Yeah. Oh, they took it back. Yeah, three of the players on France side uh, holding 98%. Versus just the two on Norway's and the others with 97. So, I mean, average percentage was just slightly in the lead here, but Norway not far behind. Getting close to that halfway mark of the song. Anything could happen here. Norway is not going to give this up. They will keep climbing, trying to beat France here and see how they do. I don't know. Will it be enough? Yeah, it's it's. Ama oh, that's her dropping too. Yep, that's a miss. Oh. Yeah, I was gonna say it's amazing how Nia misses and they, Francis still got that lead. That's insane. Yeah, this one's not super long. It's like just over three minutes. Yeah, yeah. So and I think that, that gap there is just rather wide now. So it's just. Getting close yeah. to the end of the song is just not enough, I think, for Nori to be able to climb back, especially with those two misses on a act of a map like this. Uh, it's not looking good for Norway right now. But again, they do both teams do have replays, so that is also an option if they choose to do so. Yeah, I don't yeah, I think it's that's a huge gap. 0. 0.6 on act. Yeah, yeah. Does he, both players having a miss, though. We might see a replay, but I doubt it. I don't know. Friends with that 98%. Three of their team players holding FCU through the sub. 98s all around. Unfortunately, Nia missed a note, and he is down to that 97, but that's still absolutely um. insane. Da hello, leading the lobby once again. But yeah, like Brindle, Fakos, and Gertz, like they they have that ninety three pretty much across the board. Like they're so mm -hmm. close. Yeah, and that's been yeah. actually climbing up to that ninety eight percent too. Because early on in the song, um, they did end up dropping uh, a lot note, of act. So yeah. Well, not Asmin. I think that's her. Are you talking about that's or her. yeah? I thought Asmin missed a note. Nope, Asmund has the FC. Oh, that's right. I'm looking right at it. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I think, I think Nia also, like, had they not have missed, we could have probably seen the na same 98.2, or at least 98.1. No replay from Norway. Norway does not replay. Okay. All right. Unfortunate. All right, so it's 1-1. Ooh, your map got banned. How do you feel about that? My map got banned. Your metamorphosis. Morphos. Well, because Norway knows. They know that France is keeping that in the pocket. Mm -hmm. Even though France banned the high speed map, really. <laughs> they just were not <laughs> feeling it. I guess yeah, both yeah. teams just not feeling it. But what, what are we going to see France ban? 
Maybe the tech map? I feel like that's probably the safest bet for them. I think that's the biggest question mark here. Yeah. Final boss. Final boss, okay. Just all over the place. The thing about final boss, though, is it's balance mid speed, but final boss has is 160 BPM and it has jumps on quarter beats. <laughs> Like you have to have God. and it's on one arm. So you have to have these like machine gun arms to get those. Yeah. Uh, Sliders and alternating jumps and yeah, it's, it's kind of like all over the place, I think. Yeah, it's pretty it's pretty wild. So I can definitely see that being like a comfort ban. Like you want to keep your wrists in shape. Sure. Yeah. So you ban that one. But what are we gonna see specs? Like, I don't even think I can predict anything anymore. I don't know. It, Cause like you said, it's just been kind of all over the place as far as picks and bands. Like there's no specific focus area. Like we're not going for high speed, not necessarily going for ag, but then It I appears guess Francis are. going for ag, you know? <laughs> yeah. I, I think it's pretty safe seeing as how they absolutely destroyed on swim. Chiwawase no Monosashi. How's that? Very good. good. Very good. That's a, well, at least to my untrained ears. That sounds fantastic. Uh, it's we have, I, I call this tech yak. Like, you know, it's not necessarily super technical as in hard to read. It's just it's just awkward stuff to act. So like mm. there's some really weirdly spaced and diagonal doubles and stuff like that. So has some one arm jumps, lots of horizontals. And yeah. some really tough parts to act. Uh, this is two minutes, 51 seconds. Like you said, it's pretty short. Um, it is, yeah. 3.26 notes per second, 128 BPM, and that's standard 50 JS. This is one that we continue to see teams pick for this sp specific map pool, uh, which is interesting. Pro probably the odds are low on picking Norway because it's only 4% of, of the money is on Norway currently oh come on i i voted on norway like that dude i think i i think this is part of the strat i think i think norway is planning to go like super saiyan on this one and absolutely yeah. destroy france and make all the money <laughs> hey we've seen it before and i want to be on that train i want to be in there choo choo exactly exactly yeah but the thing is, we've been seeing a couple of misses from Norway side through the first uh, two songs that they've played so far. And what's going to be scary about this map in particular is I believe it's the shortest one in this map pool. So that you don't have enough time to try to make a comeback from those misses in the song like you would another one. So pray for Norway. Hopefully <laughs> they can hold some combo there. Unfortunately, there was a few misses the last couple of songs. So we'll see. So as predicted, Ace Atari has predicted france can't believe you ace one, two, three, oh that 115 right. right off the bat they're done nice very nice there we go see look at this look at how funky this is i mean i guess yeah. it fits the like um vaporwave song quite well yeah but France absolutely destroying with a 0.3% lead right now. <laughs> it's insane. Everybody on the France side holding 98% currently. Yeah. Like, I think, I think we're gonna have to use the power of the gods. Oh, no. Asma dropping no on Norway's side as well. Asma, no, it's a one percent lead. The bar, it's all good. the way to the left. Asma voted they... for France as well. <laughs> they are holding it on the replays though. They have yet to be used, so again, an option. Um, I don't know, like it was a point three even before this. I don't think it'd be intelligent for Norway to replay an act map that France is just so strong on. Yeah. And it's definitely showing again, everybody on France still holding ninety-eight percent. Um Yeah, it's the same. Yeah. I mean Nia right now. With the highest of that ninety-eight on France side. Yeah, Nia and Fakos, ninety-eight point 
pretty high number. Mm -hmm. pretty much. They're like yeah. pretty close. And then Gertz and Brindle are also very close. De hello leading the lobby on CM by about 0.1%. Reinhardt not far behind with that 97 though. Oh, just, Mia dropping. And Still, definitely. that gap between both those teams, even with that drop on Mia's side, that's just not enough. That's her draw too. What is with these act maps? I don't know. What's I, going on? Uh, yeah, there's only two FCs left on Norway and three on <laughs> France. It's just... We've hit a whole new level of act. We play for combo again. <laughs> Yeah, it just, the score is not really moving a whole lot here, and it's getting close to the end of the song here. It looks like Fred will probably end up taking this. Yeah. That's insane, though, the misses. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. I missed what what section it was because i was looking at the numbers but as far as like what the, what the swing was where they were missing on that song you know what actually um ace says this is an ack this is tech and like it is ack technically it's like just it's tech ack like it's yeah. slower and yeah i don't know when, when when i was practicing i don't know about you practicing some of the ack maps I had some shit misses. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> <laughs> Same thing. Like half the maps, I just ended up missing at one point because I misread something. Especially on Ack, because you focus so... Instead of looking at the entire map, you focus so much on the individual notes that like, even though it's not a super complex pattern, it could just be a little bit weird and you'll yeah. shit miss because you're not right. paying attention. And especially in a tournament setting too, uh, just the nerves as well. I mean, granted, most of these players have been through the tournament setting, uh, but I'm sure players still get a little bit of nerves going through this. So this map, depending on what Norway picks, Norway did not mm -hmm. replay, could be the last map for them. Could be. So they're gonna have to. They're gonna have to go hard. They're gonna have to pull out all the stocks and pick the tech map. Yeah. And Norway, again, not using a replay on that last song. Well, actually, we might see, um, like, neither of the mid-speed maps have been picked yet. And I think that's where yeah. that's where they're strongest. So, yeah, all the bands are already set in stone. So for Norway to yep. win, they'd have to win the remaining four maps. Which I think additional memory going to be a little spicy. Yeah, okay, we see a mid-speed pick from Norway. We got Please Konkan and Nari Sama. Let's see Four minutes, five seconds, yep. 7.88 notes per second. Little, I don't know, like a little fast on the mid speed side, I guess. 175 BPM, 21 NJS. Um, this one actually plays extremely close. I had to turn up the offset to like not just like miss everything, and then it was perfectly yeah. fine. So, it, yeah, it's very jumpy, has some doubles, but it's, it's pretty simple as long as you can read the map. Yeah. And I know um, it does have like a little bit of a, a mini burst, about like how I do the song a little bit. Um, but like you said, jumps and pretty, I don't know, just pretty standard mid speed, I guess. Yeah, not not too much, nothing crazy, which I think is exactly what Norway needs. From Norway, we're going to see Reiner, Asmund, Asatari, and Da Hello. France, we're going to see Brendel, Fakos, Gertz, and Goikos. Right. Oh, Ace has bet on Norway. Ladies and gentlemen, this is it. This is the one Ace is sure. He's playing. <laughs> He's betting on Norway. <laughs> this has been the plan all along. Yeah. This moment. The reverse sweep. 30% on Norway, 70% on France, but I think there is a 100% chance Norway's going to win this one now. Ace has reassured me. Ace is so confident. He is jumping in to be a player for this song in particular. Exactly. Ace is like, After this one... spending three match prediction points on Team France, but not this one. Not today. Yeah. yeah. This one. <laughs> this one's in the bag. I don't think it's... I don't think it's... 
too harsh to say that. It's, I think it's still going to be pretty close, though. Yeah, yeah. Re regardless. I think it's going to come down to misses once again. Yeah. Oh, Jive is cheering in, Fran in France. In French. <laughs> in France. <laughs> well, he is cheering in France. I think that is true, right? Yeah, I mean, yes. Probably. <laughs> The odds are high. Yeah, both replays Aww. are still available. Correct. Yeah, this song starts really just fast in your face. Yeah, just getting in there. Yeah. And Norway in the lead just by a little bit there. Yeah, point four Ace right now. Yeah, Ace is gaming. They're confident. They're confident in this one. All players still holding that FC. Oh, it's going back to France. Just oh, and Fico's missing. Fico's missing. <laughs> back to Norway she goes. <laughs> Norway, you need these no. four FCs more than you need it. Asmund, no. Asmund, no. Oh. Come on. <laughs> it might be enough still, though. So close. Norway just trying to hold on to that 96% above France. Oh. We might Hold. see. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. We might see France replay this if they end up not taking Hold. it. But as of right now, it's France. gone back in their direction. Yeah, going back in France's favor right now. But oh. Norway says no. They say oh, no. Norway just what drop it win? And it goes back to Norway. <laughs> <laughs> but oh. we called it. We said misses will be the yeah. main thing here. Yeah, we got two to one right now. Two misses on France's side, one on Norway. Yeah, and we're about a third of the way through the map. All players doing pretty, pretty good. Da hello with that 97.5. Can we talk about that for a second? Absolutely yeah. insane. <laughs> Brendel actually not too far behind either. 97.3. Also, gaming. Asmund, despite having a miss, being the second highest score on Norway. Yeah, three other players with his 96% on Norway's side with Dehelo just a little bit above with that 97. Hold, Norway, hold! Hold! People are talking about it's a good thing they only bet a certain amount of money. It's not over yet. We're only halfway through it. It's been all over the place. Yeah, this is definitely a little bit of a longer song that we've seen. Yeah. So anything can happen. Oh my god. Keep those FCs, Norway. Hold strong. They are. It's that, that percentage is not moving a whole lot. Yeah, 0.1%. And Brindle missing. That That's not good. No, not good at all. That's going to continue to give Norway that, that lead there. Brindle quite the anchor for France right now, but <laughs> that miss is not not helping the situation here. A little bit of a slower section here. Yeah, Norway is fighting. Oh, and Goik is missing another Goik, one. Yeah. Can I just comment on how fantastic that little red flash whenever someone misses is? <laughs> Before that, it was just like, oh, they only have a 300 combo now. They must have missed. Faco's missing. Faco's missing as well. It's not being good for Team France right now. Yeah, France only having Gertz on that FC. And Norway having Dahalo, Ace, and Reinert still on FC's Asmund with only one miss. Yeah, they were definitely confident on this map. And it's very much showing right now for Norway. They're not done yet. Yeah, we're coming right to the end here. Gertz is stream dying for a moment. Just, yeah, just a little bit. Tail end of a song here. And Norway, it looks like, duh, hello, oh, duh, you can't hello. be missing here. Oh my God, duh, you're, he's, he's so mad. <laughs> Look at him. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's okay, duh. angry. Duh, it's okay. Once they undeafen you, they will tell you. You have won. You've done it. So that that leaves two FCs on Norway's side. Ace Atari and Reiner. Gertz pulling off that FC. Very strong.
and uh, Dehalo and Brindle both leading their teams in ACK. Yeah, let's see if a replay is called here. I don't know if we will. Because I think, okay, so to win, Norway's going to have to win every single remaining song, and they're still an ACK mm -hmm. song. So I think France will probably save it for ACK if they just lose tracking or something. Right, yeah. Unless, unless France just wants to 4 0 them and kind of. I don't know. A quick, quick death. So France will be calling for a replay on this song. They say no. We want to take this. Yeah, I'd definitely say France is probably um, <clears throat> my second strongest language. I mean, French, not France. I don't know why I'm doing this, <laughs> but it's because I keep reading chat and I see the word France. <laughs> And then it like True. messes yeah, with me. That's fair. But uh, Team Norway ready going into our replay of please Kan Kan and Nari Sama. Is and Norway ninety six point five five. Yeah, I was about down. to say. Can we write that down really quick? <laughs> we got that on my notebook here. We are ready. Ah, uh, yes, France the FC beat that score. The FC counters do not work. Oh, no. On a replay, but that will be fine. We will start that for next time, okay. I believe. I know who to talk to about that. All right, and Norway is still extremely confident on this taking song here, down. taking that lead. But we did see it start to go back in France's direction after a mm -hmm. little bit here. That's true. Kind of a jammer, actually, now that I, yeah. I kind of listen to it. Yeah, all players still holding combo. And, like, even FCs wise, like, Norway's 0.3% ahead. Like, they are not slowing down for a replay. They're not no. taking it easy. They're fighting. Not at all. And that percentage is still growing for Norway's side as well. Oh, Goik is missing. Oh, yeah, Gertz has a miss, and he missed the first couple of notes. Or the first, one of the first notes, I guess. Um, yeah, which no Norway actually beating their original percentage score on the song. Um, wow, it's not looking too good for France right now. Yeah, Gertz? That's insane. But it is very complex in the game. Fako's dropping two. Norway m might be getting a better score this time around. Three Fs, I mean, four FCs, and we're almost halfway through. Yeah. Holding uh, FCs with a 96.77% for Norway. A few misses on France's side. This is the replay. And we're about halfway through the song. Yeah. Right now, Brindle, the only one with an FC for uh, Francis' side. See, now now, now they've gone for the swift kill. Oh, oh as we're dropping. Dro dropping. Too, too soon to speak. But if France yeah. doesn't take this, now they're not going to have that replay for like an act song or something like that if they lose tracking. Which yeah, I don't think we've true. seen a lot of this tournament, actually. Tracking has been pretty good. Yeah, you're right. Haven't really seen a lot of calls, and, and that being the reason. Yeah. Mostly just um, when you use that replay, thinking that you could better your previous score versus using it for, yeah, tracking and things. So that's good. That's good for the community. Yeah, now, now we see everyone in chat who is cheering for Norway is quite talkative. <laughs> mm. they're, about, they're about to get that bread. They're about to get that money. I mean, it's still point <laughs> one though, and there's yeah. like 40 seconds left. So, I mean, Norway gets like two drops here. Goik is dropping. Goik is dropping. And yeah, it could go over to France inside pretty easily. Oh, not moving very much here. The hold. The hold. No, it's dropping. 
It's still point one though. They're gonna have to drop probably two more. There you go, Dahlo, getting that, getting that FC. Reiner with the back-to-back -back FC and Gertz, <laughs> almost back-to-back -back FC, but Gertz missed the, the third note. <laughs> so we'll call that. We'll call that a, like a, yeah. an FC. That was probably yeah. just like a little bit of like a hot start thing. In my heart, that was an FC. All right, Brindle getting an FC too. Very good play <laughs> by Norway on this map. And they will end up taking a point. Ace says he always believed. Just believe in the right mm. teams. I think once it gets to the Axe song, Reverse Sweep Dream's over. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, we got additional memory pick. So it seems like it's going to be a, it seems okay. a little bit of a cleanup for France here now. But they don't have the replay. So if anything goes wrong. Yeah. Norway Did could that. actually reverse sweep them. They could. Like there is there is a reasonable chance. I'm not saying it's high. Like I'm not saying like they got a 50 or more percent chance, but it's not zero. <laughs> no, not zero. We have MPS of 4.36, NGS 16. This is kind of a longer song. It's four minutes and three seconds. The BPM is 200. Yeah. 60 to NGS, a little it's just a little faster than the other um act songs. Yeah. So, because of the 4.36 note per second, uh, we might see some, like, high ack mid-speed players. Kind of like, a cool pick was a reference I used, but, like, I think Ace Atari is also, like, kind of a good example in this lobby. Um, being played yeah. instead of ack players. Uh, just because it m might feel a little fast for people who normally play, like, standard or true ack. Hmm. Yeah, and there's lots of jumps. You have to lean a lot to dodge some walls, which can really hurt your act when you're not really centered. But I think for a lot of these players, they'll be able to handle it pretty well. You say that. But we have been seeing a few misses on act maps on both sides, France and Norway today. Oh, I get it. Oh, it's to correct my uh, mispronunciation. I was like, I think it's Nia, and then I was like, oh wait, now I get it. <laughs> oh my god. That's hilarious, I didn't even realize. Just because, like, so many of the letters are different. <laughs> and then for uh, Norway, we have Reiner, Asman, Ace, and Dahlo. Like I said, they're probably going to put mm -hmm. Ace in. I was so confused. I was, like, looking through spreadsheets and stuff. I'm like, who is Nia <laughs> right now? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, like that was really tough when I was looking up Israel, which I believe is going to be our next match. A lot of them just change their names all the time, so it's really yeah. tough to keep track of who's who. Oh, the man. French being quite considerate of my That's very <laughs> kind. stupidity. I've I've called their language France, and I've called <laughs> I've called Nia Gna. Yeah, we don't get enough PSVR representation, really. And for good reasons, as we go into our next <laughs> match, <laughs> France versus Nor Norway. France taking that early lead once again on the act here. All right. Very, very chill. Very, very jamming. It is very chill. I like it. I also like Mia's like heart instead of the health bar. Oh yeah. Now, call me crazy. Crazy, crazy. Well, uh, not yet. You gotta wait. <laughs> I think we're gonna see eight FCs. <laughs> I I hope. I mean, yeah. it is pretty quick. So. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, the, the the lead that France has right now is pretty big right here. I don't... Again, this is kind of where France has been excelling uh, yeah. through the other maps that we've seen today. So I don't know if it'll be enough for Norway, but they're determined. They're not giving up. Yeah, France playing super strong. A 0.5% lead on pretty much... 
standard act. I don't know. It's like it's like a hybrid between mid speed and standard act. Both Da Hello and Nia holding many percents right now on either side of the team. Yeah. Oh, and Faco's dropping on Francis' side, but I don't think it's gonna be enough. No, still a big lead for France here, even with that that miss. Um, yeah, actually really close to Da Hello score right now. We might see someone besides Da Hello be the act leader. Yeah, still not much of movement between these teams through the song. It's just branches overall with their percentages. It's just... Yeah, there's like pretty pretty much three ninety eights on France right now. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> As opposed to Norway's one. Dahlo's swings right now are really mesmerizing. It's like, <laughs> it looks so different. Like, I don't see people swing like this. They're like super optimized, but they just look weird. Yeah, like if you look at all the other players, they're using quite a bit of arm, except for maybe Fakos. Yeah. And then Da Hello and Fakos are just kind of like using this weird wrist technique. We're getting pretty close here in three quarters of the way through the song. And front big of the score lead. difference, yeah. No, I still does have a replay, but I don't know if I'll end up using it or not. Yeah, I mean. Might as well. Yeah, and chat is right. There Even is with a chance. The miss on this map, France still in the lead. Yeah. Yeah, France just that big of a gap. Like, I think naturally it's like a 0. 0.5 gap, which is mm -hmm. huge. Right down the score, 97.95. Yeah, that is a very high percentage, though, for Norway to have to beat if they decide to go yeah. with that. That replay at 97.95. Yeah, they're going to have to game out of their minds. Yeah, Norway is just... going to replay, yeah. Yeah. It makes sense. You don't really have much to lose here. Worth the shot. Anything could happen, I guess. Yeah, the, the options are game out of your mind, replay that, jam a little harder, or just lose. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> exactly. It's not really much of a... It's a pretty easy choice. No, wait. They no, no they longer don't. want to replay. Oh. GG's happening in the chat. No replay. GG's, happening. everyone. What? Interesting. Yeah, just not confident they could get a better score. Again, that was a, that was definitely a high percentage there at 97 95%. Like that's that's Yeah, lot. both both teams playing extremely well. Just I France being a higher seed. They had a mm -hmm. lot more advantages than Norway did. And I don't think the map pool did enough favors for Norway just because, like, it's not all mid speed. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Both teams, though, go, go have a pizza party. You deserve it. Yeah. Both teams. Especially still did Norway. Extremely well. And then, of course, Norway going in and getting at least one win off of France during this match. So. You called it, though, uh, I think. Uh, I think in the beginning of this, you said you were. Kind of guessing France to take Yeah, them. I was mm -hmm. pretty sure. Like, France is just so much stronger, but you, you never know. There's been so many upsets already. Yep. Next, we're going to be seeing Israel, um, also known as Amanatsu's family right now. We got Amanatsu's cousin, Amanatsu's <laughs> waifu, Amanatsu's child. <laughs> like, they, they, they're, they're quite mean right now. At versus Germany. 